Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight is the 7800 night. Yay! And we're going to play three and a half games. Three and a half? Yes. One new one. Okay. From VH Ed, VHZC. Excellent. Uh, and it's called Cannon in D. Nice. D for defense. Oh, what are you okay. doing? Oh my goodness, Atari's so excited. <laughs> He's it's out of control. Very excited today. Uh, and then we're going to be playing uh, a couple of older games, <laughs> uh, Beef Drop, uh, uh, which Beef is drop. from. Is that like notes. Uh... Burger Time? Okay, okay. So okay, it's a 7800 okay. port for Burger Time. Nice. Welcome all the people who rated just yes. before the yes. uh, show. Welcome That's to awesome. the show. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play homebrew. Mm -hmm. Um. And then we're going to be playing, uh, I think it's called More Beef Drop. More Beef Drop. Which is a couple, uh, seven extra levels. Oh, okay. That somebody okay. hacked from Beef Drop. Nice. And we're also going to be playing Space Duel nice. by Pac-Man Plus. Nice, nice, nice. And if we're not too burnt out, we'll be doing some After Dark with okay. Vicky and Vicky. Ooh. Uh, for the 7800. Yep. More beef. <laughs> More beef. Um, and I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who support the show down the side. Uh, El Nefer, I'm Scar Coder, Artari Age, Buck Owens, Caffeman 2D. Thank you for following Ruin. Uh, Charles and Chuck, Charles Wheel and Chai 5, Chris Albright, Dianoid, Dan, if you see Drexel, Dr. Moo Cows, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, One Year Rider, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco 2600, Mark Space, mm. Inc., Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Sol, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zona, with Mr. Fix, Pack Ravage, Call, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pimps, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice Wars, S. Ramirez, The D Trained Welshman, Thr Thrust 26, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, and X Ken X. And thank you for supporting the show wow. and getting your name down the side. And yes. if you want to support, subscribe to the show just like Buck Owens did uh, just before the show. Subscribed for yes. eight months total now. Wow. Thank you so thank you, much. And thank you for uh, Ooh, Coffee, Coffee Cup Arcade, Arcade for thank subscribing. Uh, he, uh, they, they apparently work, work for Atari. During the Lynx, Atari Lynx oh, and Jaguar wow. days. Oh, Okay, cool, cool. So that's really cool. That is really yeah, cool. Thank you for uh, <laughs> subscribing. Or you can just follow us. Yep. Like uh, Ruina did just a moment ago yeah. and Ca Coffee Cup Arcade and 48K Ram cheered. And they're thank the you. people who raided. Oh, with, awesome. with 20 people. Thank you very thank much. You. Yeah. Champ Games does amazing work on the 2600. Very. We play his games all the time. Yeah. We do world premieres of his games all the time, yes. actually. Yeah. We thank him so much yeah. for that. He's, we're very lucky that he uh... loves us. Yes. We love him. Yes. And we've met him. <laughs> we've gone to, for dinner times, with yeah. him and yep. hung out with him at the conventions. Yes. And That's... he makes wonderful, wonderful games. Oh, so Amazing hype, 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 Oh, maybe. Oh, I, Not I yet. Need to... Oh, it is. It yeah, is, it hype, is a train. hype train. Choo -choo. Oh, it's close. Oh, shoot. I need to subscribe. <laughs> Should I subscribe? Will that help? Uh, it never seems to it work. It does help, but we'll see know. if it works. So I haven't, I haven't resubscribed. <laughs> no. So it never, it never notifies you, which is unfortunate. I know. No. I know. I'm just on it, I guess. You know, yeah. if you call that Too support. busy being on it. Um, um, so I got two packages the last ooh, show, ooh, ooh, two Vectrex games. Okay, those are really exciting. Yeah, I got uh, Vector Patrol, which is Moon Patrol okay. for the Vectrex, and Vectrarians, Vectrexians, nice. which is Galaxians for the Vectrex. Oh, thank you, Coffee Cup Arcade, for hyping, hyping it up. Yes. And today I got... Get this hype train started, Coffee Cup Arcade. Vector Pilot. Ooh, Buck Owens just asked. No Vector Pilot? <laughs> yes. There we go. I ordered all <laughs> three from um, uh, Christoph Tutz. Oh, awesome. Um, from, <laughs> and he's in uh, Belgium. Oh, very cool. So let's take a look at nice. this. What number is it? <laughs> it is number, where's the number? I think it's hidden on the back. We'll take a look. Let me take out the... Oh, there it is. 1136. So there's the number. Nice. We'll take a look at it take on the... Take the card out. <laughs> take a look at it on the cat cam here. Nice. 
Woo, Hype Train! Thank you, RC70. For gifting it to Vitoko. So here is Vector Pilot. That's so nice. Very nice cases, hard cases. There's the overlay on the back. Uh, nice blue overlay. There's the cartridge. Vector Pilot. And the manual. I have to pull back a little. See. Oh, there we go. There we go. One one three six number. Very nice. Yeah. So this is um, very nice. a port of Time Pilot, the arcade mm. game, which is a really fun game, which we played not too long ago on the stream. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing this on the Vectrex, and we're gonna have a Vectrex stream day. Oh, who's followed? RJ Helms, thank you for following. Yeah. We are going to have a Vectrex day on the show eventually. Oh, I can't wait. So I'm very be a lot excited of fun. for that. Yeah. Probably in the new year. Yes. Got a lot mm -hmm. of stuff coming up. So probably when we return back from our little break after the Atari Homebrew Awards. Well, you want to play with that? There you go. Um, so, yeah. So I... He, I bought all the games that he has on his website here. Oh, come on, train, coffee cup, arcade, 80%. Um, so he has Vectrexians, Vector Pilot, let's see if I can make that bigger, uh, Vector Patrol, and the one I'm really looking forward to that's in development is Vectrus, which is Gyrus for okay. the Vectrex, which is going to be amazing especially if the music's done really well because um it has a very good uh sound card oh we're almost there 98 coffee cup arcade is just keeps throwing bits at it i think if you put like 100 it. more it'll make it yeah choo 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 and then we get some more icons i think but it looks really good if you look at the graphics it's got um some green in the middle for the planets nice and 12 bits thank 12 you coffee bits. cup arcade oh no oh Hold on. Go get your phone. I'm going to have to resubscribe. See if it'll... Um, and it looks like... What else is coming up on his? Vectorian? Tribute to the best arcade shoot 'em up Exerian, which I've never played. Mm. And Vector Hopper, which is Qbert. So I'll definitely be buying all of those when they come out. Um, so final testing, no. Prototyping is the Qbert one, Vector Hopper. So I'm guessing that's next. Um, but these two i love shooters so vectrus is the one i'm really looking forward to two minutes left so the big news that i posted about recently hokies are here which are substitute for pokey chips for the 7800 they're going to be on sale in january you can see batari posted about a couple days ago it's time about time for an update on the hokey i have all the parts to build thousands of hokies now Hokey wasn't intended as a pokey chip replacement for the Atari 7800 homebrews, but it has evolved into a low-cost sound chip for the Atari 2600 games. It is the only pokey replacement with a form factor that is essentially the same as a real pokey, so slimline, uh, as opposed to some of the other uh, pokey replacement chips that don't fit exactly. We made it! Hype train! Thank you, Metal Lunar, for putting us over the top and Cuffy Cup Arcade for getting us there. Excellent. Hey, Zero Pagers. Oh, now it's like level two. <laughs> rage reset, rage reset, rage reset. Um, so he's going to be releasing the Hokies in a number of forms. I got replaced by a cat. He did. <laughs> I did resubscribe, but it never registers. No, it, it takes a long time. I don't know why. It so knows. Be... It's like you're cheating. <laughs> putting out a basic hokey for ten dollars or 750 each in quantities of 100 which is so cheap one wow so the other replacements i think are minimum forty dollars so really? this one is really cheap. that is really cheap so it's not going to add much to the cost of 7800 games that mm. need um pokey sound in them mm. um and then there's a standard hokey for 19 uh da, da, da. it has a good dynamic range has an analog output that's filtered and amplified uh and has ability for quad pokey um so four pokey 
uh, emulations. Uh, and Or $14 for 100 of them. Yeah, very cheap. And Atari Age Homebrew Hokey Boards, uh, though the basic blah, 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 blah. Um, these will be, uh, you can use, so this is for games that are going to go into the Atari Age store. No more than $10 for games using basic Hokey, 15 for using standard Hokey. Mm -hmm. But then um, he's going to be able to put them into the concerto cards mm -hmm. they'll be selling and be selling them fully equipped. With the Hokey. With the Hokey. Um, then he's going even further mm -hmm. and developing arcade hokies. Uh, at, at twenty-one dollars, sports porky, uh, porky, pokey sound. <laughs> That's the uh, next one is porky. <laughs> porky, yeah. <laughs> the porky. Plus the pot ports needed for some arcade games. So mm. pokey was used in some arcade games. So people without pokey chips or damaged arcade pokey chips mm. would be able to restore the sound without because literally they would have to Find cannibalize it from another arcade machine that's really which is nice. really difficult yeah um and then an arcade quad hokey which i'm guessing some of them needed more uh, major havoc i robot firefox or return of the jedi so all in one drop in pokey and then an advanced, advanced. hokey wow for 29 dollars uh uh, two megabytes of programming on wavetable storage, dual core CPU, analog CD quality sound. Uh, it says a three millimeter, 3.5 millimeter stereo plug, wow. 96 decibels of dynamic range. Um, so it has analog output, true analog output. Wow. Um, crazy. Um, <laughs> and it's expected to support all pokey functions such as serial IO and keyboard scan, which is important because those are needed for putting in the Atari computer line okay. because the Pokey didn't just do sound. Oh, in the it, computer line? Yeah, it did more than sound mm -hmm. as doing serial I own keyboard. Just like the TIA is not just the sound card for the 70, uh, 2600, it yeah. does more than just, just, just the sound. Yeah. So that's cool. Lots of info. You can read much more about this here. Here's the link for anybody wanting to read more. So that's coming in January. Mm hmm. Uh, along with this, he posted that there is a sale on concerto carts, uh, pre-production, original, and factory seconds at sixty-nine, sixty-five, and forty-nine dollars. So, you there are some caveats with these. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to read about whether you want these particular concertos. Because they will not have everything the final concerto will have. It's it's sort of but a, they do work. A pre pre release cursor and of that's, concerto and or I have a, a pre release and okay. I have a pre release concerto as well. Oh, I see. I see. I think every most Everyone concerto. Everyone's had it th at yeah, this point. Okay. I think some might be upgradable. Gotcha. But uh, they're being cleared out, and he's got a bunch here. Um, many of pre production, fifteen of original. And seven factory seconds, but uh, and he gives all the disclaimers on here, and I posted the link. Uh, oh. Mike Soul is sick, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, so he's usually usually here. Oh, in the chat. In the chat, yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't seen him. Uh, I'm gonna look. I'm not gonna tell everybody, but people can see. Mm -hmm. He's not in the chat at all. Um, oh, received level one hype train emote. Oh, it's a kitty. It's kitties. <laughs> Oh, let's share that. What's our what's our there? Oh nice. Choo choo hype love one with a Aww. kitty with a heart. That's nice. That is nice. Oh, emotes are being delivered supporters. Nice. Oh, look at all those emotes. A sleeping Aww. cat and a happy turtle and a fish being petted. A whole bunch of weird stuff. Yeah. Oh, RC seventy got a sleeping. Oh, that's nice. Um, Mike Soul is sick, unfortunately. Um, he is the person who is working on the game Immunity, oh. um, which is battling viruses. Yeah. Um, so he says, <laughs> in a cruel twist of irony, yeah. <laughs> the inspiration of the game has become very real oh, for me. No. I'm on the 10th day of symptoms, which are mild, I guess as far as these things go. But the yo-yo fevers, chills, and headaches are not very conductive. To 2600 development i've saved up some vacation days for the end of the year and hoped to use many of them as a 2600 development sprint but mm. that plan is mostly falling apart mm. if you're the praying spiritual type i appreciate any prayers or good vibes on my behalf 
I really hoping to start to turn the corner a bit and we'll get productive again soon. So good. Sorry to hear, vibes hear about it, Mike. Going yeah, out to you. very good vibes going out there. So if you do watch the show later, um, hopefully you get better soon. Uh, and hopefully it doesn't impact you too much. No. And you get to enjoy some of your holidays that yeah, you booked off. Yeah, that's it's always I always get sick on vacation too. Yeah. Your it's body always knows. your body just kinda like, goes time to recover. It's like suppress, suppress the illness and oh you're on vacation. Blech. Have you guys so. tried out the homebrew version of Juno First of the twenty six hundred? It's my favorite twenty six hundred game and mm. we ever and we have a high score tournament going on with it. Mm. Yes, I love that game. It was one of the first games we played on the show. We've been doing the show for Juno almost first. four years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or fourth year? I can't remember. 2008? 18? Doing it three years. I don't know. A while. Since two th March 2018. Mm -hmm. um, so that's three years. No, before. In 2022. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yes. Um, yes, Juno First is awesome. And it has great voice sounds through the Atari Vox. Mm -hmm. Um, super fun. One of my favorite shooters on the 2600. Um, I've been to buy Juno first with the Atari Vox. Thanks for the reminder. Definitely, definitely get it. Either way, it's been a lot of years. Mm. Yep. Um, Eagle, who has been putting out tons of amazing music for the 7800 mm. in this thread he's got going, um, is now doing some visuals, some games, kind of test demos. So... Something's on the nice. horizon, I think, with Eagle. Uh, so he posted this uh, a little while back, December 12th. Uh, watching Ghosts and Goblins by M.K. Smith recently, which we debuted on the show. Amazing. It, Amazing. Um, yeah. I was wondering if I could use this at technique for the A7800. So I used Turk and two level as examples. Please forgive me. Unfortunately, characters are eight lines high and single character width. I only used uh, so a whole bunch of mm. information there. Um, anyway, my conclusions are under some assumptions. This type of scrolling can be very useful, especially for double character mode. So check this cool. out. Ooh. So this is wow. Turkin 2 is like, um, uh, a shooter type game. Yes. Yeah. Um, so he has made a scrolling level here, which wow. is incredible. I mean, you'd have to kind of mask off uh, this, some of the end. This yeah. right and right Run and side. gun. Run yep. and gun. Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. Developer. Oh, <laughs> what kind of games do you develop? Um, I have not heard your name. Do you develop 7800, 2600? Are, is it Coffee Cup Arcade? Want me Want to me list, list them? No, no, it's okay. Just the uh, <laughs> platforms. Platforms. Um, so that looks absolutely amazing. Run and gun. Yeah, okay. very nice. Yeah, because you like a robot? I have not played Turrican 2. Yeah. Um... So it looks, looks astounding. Uh, platforms. Okay. <laughs> um, and another one he posted, uh, another idea, multiplayer yump, which we played for the Atari 8-bit system a little while ago. Mm. Um, here is what it looks like. Two players at the same time playing the bouncing going ball, a... going oh, down really? the, uh, the, tube? the hallway, the yeah, tube. Yeah. And they kind of overlap a little bit, but I don't know if that would interfere too much looks incredible though dos amiga nes sega genesis turbo graphics 16 and windows wow cool yeah, a lot of platforms that's cool obviously the guy the person on the left would get a bit of an advantage uh, yeah because they'd see it yeah but this is yeah. kind of a, a test demo of mm. what is capable mm. so if he's doing two mm -hmm. tunnels you can do definitely one so that would be an amazing game yeah to port over for the 7800 because look look at that yeah i mean you just ship that over yeah and you've got a single player you so that's very cool very exciting i said whoa yes please of course <laughs> or you can cross your eyes and pretend it's 3d you <laughs> <laughs> think i'm hypnotized now um so that is all the news time to Get into the games. Yay. So the first game we're going to be playing is Cannon in DD for Defense. If you want to grab that first joystick. Okay. Uh, oh, staticky. Right. Um, this is a brand new game by Vladimir Zuniga. First posted December 8th. And this build is from December 17th. So a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. It's a 144k game. I don't know if I should list off all the games VHZC makes. Because he makes one about every month or every two months. Yeah. <laughs> Tons. Roach in Space, Roach in Space 2, 
Canonica, Can Canon in D, this new one, Dore Me, Draco, Game of the Bear, I Ran, Keep Them Out, Night Guy in Low Res World, Night Guy in Board, Night Guy Quest for Something, Low Res Car, Low Res Racer, mm -hmm. Ninja Sky in Low Res World, Ninja Sky in Perilous Island, Peril, Slide Boy in Maze Land, mm -hmm. on many platforms. Uh, so, oh, I, I also organized all the class and gaming conventions for Atari back in the Las Vegas days. Wow, <laughs> nice. nice. High score attorneys and such, and program analyzer. Mm. Good to know you. Welcome to the show. Mm -hmm. uh, so, here we go. I shall start it from scratch. There we go. So, uh, he said uh, when he posted this, um, you could probably play it. I'll give you a little instruction first. Okay. It's a shooter. Okay. Uh, fixed shooter, so you're just going along the bottom along left to right. Okay. Um, he's done other games like this, so it'll be fairly straightforward. Okay. Um, so go for it. That looks very Mega Man, I must say. That mm -hmm. little intro. Ah. Yeah, clear ah. path for yourself. You do have health, so you have you're down to eight now. Uh, hi. First, the kind of bad news. I was scrapping a Roach in Space 7800, which sucks, because I was not happy with how the game was turning out, and I'm reorganizing some old projects. So this ah. is kind of like a Roach in Space. You're down to five health. Oh my goodness. Um, but the good news is that I'm rescuing an old project and mixing with some of a Roach in Space 7800 assets to work on a new game. Cannon in D. D for defense. It's a really simple shooter based on Canonica, because you're a little cannon at the bottom of the screen. It looks like you get a point for everything ah. you shoot. Oh, you're down to one health. Oh, yeah. You really took it there. Yeah. Ah. Great animation. It's just one life. That's oh, it. Look at your broken cannon. I know. It's so, it looks so good. <laughs> okay. Um. It's a really simple shooter, uh, a game that I was programming for the NES and 2600, where you move your cannon left to right and destroy stuff. Uh, um, I programmed the engine, some enemies and basic stuff, so I have a demo, a first demo ROM, but since I don't have a Dragonfly, which is what we're playing on, mm -hmm. or such, I've only tested on A7800, but I, I tested on and showed that to him that it worked. Well, still at nine. Good stuff. Right Usually with this type of game, clear a path for yourself and then evade. There you go. Uh, the demo's pretty short, but I want to test the engine before adding more enemies. Oh, yeah, you touched it there. Did I? <sighs> and then the December 17th update, new title screen, and more levels. Oh, you touched it. I know, it's so, it's like, doesn't take much. Ah! Oh, you did both of them! Oh, no. <laughs> Coffee Cup Arcade was at the Classic Gaming ah, Expo ah, in Vegas. Ah, 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 ah. Watch your bounces. Ah, ah. I'm getting attacked by CD play <laughs> CDs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, two. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you can't shoot those red balls. Some of them you can, some of them you can't. Nice clouds in the background. Here I go. You should make them move. Oh. Lost time. He comes down. Watch out. Ah! Oh, nice. he's about to die. Did better though. Oh, I bet you can beat him. Uh, we'll see. Stay out of his way when he comes down. At least it's predictable. Cannon D. Cannon in D looks awesome. Nice. You did it! <laughs> it does look Doesn't really stop, awesome. Doesn't stop though. <laughs> no, no, keeps going. I think I've just made it to the second <gasps> boss. Oh. Okay. Read all the notes, and it's my turn. All right. Nice artwork as usual. <laughs> Feels inspired by Mega Man a bit. Yes, yes. I think so too. Yes. Um, especially the opening scene. Life preservers. It could be. Could be red CDs or life. They do look like CDs. Yeah. They look very spinning. dangerous. Or like um. That's Mega Blades, Man. round round blades coming down for you. And you kind of spin on a blade there at the bottom, like when you move back and forth. 
Yeah, Ivory Tower Collection says, yeah, I see this oh. and I'm expecting an MM port to get made now. Yeah, exactly. It looks so Mega Man. Oh, it is, it is cool. I love, it's oh. the eyeballs and the eyebrows. I, I Everything has a... Uh, <laughs> eyeballs. Great yeah. um, expression. All these little... Yeah, the VHZC is great, a master great at our Great expressions, artwork. yeah. Oh, got hit. Oh, got hit again. Hi, hi, kitty. Oh, they are like life preservers. You're right. Ah! How do you avoid that? It's not easy. Well, I guess there's a space on the right hand side. A bit. You have yeah. to get under them before they drop, I think. They are coming back in the same spot. Yeah, they are. Which is good. Boss time? Yes. Oh, oh he hit me. Did he? Uh -huh. No! Oh, no! <sighs> I also appreciate the cannon in deep, honey. Yeah. <laughs> As do I. So we had a Lord of the Rings extended edition marathon mm -hmm. at our house for the 20th anniversary, which yes, was on which was Sunday. And it was awesome. It was so good. It's always so good. Awesome to watch those again. Yeah. Because we have seen, we have done that before, actually, in the theater a couple of years ago. So I it was, uh, thought it was a good good time to do it again. Refresh ourselves. Mm -hmm. And they're just as awesome, as always. Mm -hmm. It's just, those movies are just so good. So Story's well so good. And even the effects still ha hold up you know like yeah. they're still they still look good i mean i can notice things i notice things too and i think this I'd, time this time around yeah God. yeah there's a bit of space in the left and the right with this level but it was the 20th anniversary yes when was it uh monday uh sunday 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 so in 2001 in two oh, no, that was when the first one was, was released. The first one came out. Oh, nice, nice. There we go. Miss Man, yeah, that's around nine hours. Yep. Uh, it was a full day. Yeah, around nine hours. <laughs> it was around nine hours. I mean, depends if you <sighs> Yeah. And it was the extended skip the edition. Credits. <laughs> definitely skip yes, the credits. Yes, Definitely skip the credits, yeah. Gives you more time. <laughs> yeah. And it was so funny because we had it on Blu-ray. Yeah. And it was on two discs. And well, I each, was wondering... Each episode is on two discs. I was wondering um, why the first one was was so short. <laughs> yeah, and James like, is like, no, over. that's disc one. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, okay. That We're makes more sense. Movie number two? What? Yeah. Was oh, this the um, boss two? Yep, yeah, boss number two. Nice. I don't see beach ball. Beach ball. I think. Beach ball clown. Ah. In one of his other games, he had a clown with arms. Oh, that's that's spooky. Oh, I made it. Oh god, what's happening? Another boss. <gasps> oh my god. That's gonna be okay. Just have to stay away. Boss right away. Is it a boss? Damn it. Or yeah, is this it is a boss. A... Is it? Because you have to hit him multiple times. Ah. That's Damn that's it. true. Down to the last one. Maybe you have to hit him when he's a ball. I don't yeah. know. Oh, okay. wow. Another boss. Boss rush. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> the oh, clown and roach. Yes. yes. That's what I was thinking of. Wow. I've done it several times. Miss Command says, they are my fave films. Yeah, they're so good. Oh, Coffee Cup Arcade. Um, what a nice thing to say. Streams with his wife as well. It's the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. Play games. Yes. Just set aside some time for gaming. Yeah, who needs date nights when you, ha when you can have game night? I don't with know. cats. With cats, I know. Yeah. I have to listen to music <laughs> before pressing the button. Well, it's good music. It does yeah. sound good. Bug. Uh oh. Crashy crash. Crashy black screen. When did it happen? I was kind of looking away. 
Did you, did it start or was almost starting? It rolled off the screen and then it, it froze. Oh. Like this rolled off and the screen and then it crashed there, okay. I think. Yeah. I don't think it got to this. Are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> he will later. Yeah. Luckily, it's faster to reset. Oh my gosh, I'm down to seven already. Terrible! It is, it Terrible. is a work in progress, so there's bound to be bugs and things like that. So. Ah. And it and it didn't happen during the game, which is which is good. Staying up for the Matrix premiere on HBO tonight. Ooh. Oh. HBO is showing it? Oh, interesting. Oh. We get Crave, which is the Canadian HBO Max, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Um, maybe, maybe. We were going to go see it in the theater, but uh, we're Ooh, going into lockdown true. again, and I don't. They're reducing capacity, so I'm not sure. I think that won't be lasting very long. What the, the theaters? Oh uh, no, they're down to fifty percent. I know. They're, but yeah, no, I agree with you. I like just the progression. All the fitness. It in. The gyms are closing now too. The bars. The bars, gyms, clubs. restaurants are allowed to remain open. Uh, um. At uh, reduced capacity. Yeah. She's so. She's working this game. Yes. Kind of. Yes. Well, it's <laughs> down to one. Ah! <laughs> no, that wasn't so good. <laughs> All right, go <laughs> I like to see him get further because because uh, you played the... it a couple times, I guess. Uh, bef yeah, just uh, yeah. Beforehand, just a couple, just to see. Okay. Something sticking it's out. Just a thread off your shirt there. Ah, ah! Oh, sorry, reset. Sorry. I lost two. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, reset. I'll have to die on purpose. Midnight your time, three a.m. RC seven E. <gasps> oh my goodness. Staying up for the Matrix premiere. Oh, midnight we your time. Did so? Have you seen it already, RC seven E? Oh. Don't say anything about it. We have not seen Licorice Pizza yet, What's but licorice pizza? we are going to do a marathon next year. Oh, Paul Thomas Anderson? On Paul Thomas Anderson oh, movies. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because we, every, uh, about twice a year, we pick a movie franchise or a director to do a marathon. We invite friends over and we do a marathon, yeah. And Paul Thomas Anderson is the next one. Yeah. And it'll probably be uh, two, at least two days, or most likely three, because he's done about nine movies. That's a lot of movies, yeah. And a number of short films and a ton of music videos. Mm. Music videos don't take much time. Yeah. But so most likely ugh, it's going to be a three-day marathon. So we're going to save that movie probably till then. I'll do it in March or April. If we're allowed to. <laughs> RC70, I wanted to go to the oh. theater, but my kid didn't care enough to watch the other three to go with me. <laughs> no one else I know cares about it. The other three... Oh, Matrix? Matrix movies, oh, yeah. just watch number one. Yeah, RJ oh, Helms, nice. I haven't done a good movie marathon in too long, yeah. Or and the Animatrix. Watch number one and the Animatrix. That's true. That's, that's, that's true. all you need. Yeah. You don't need two and three. Oh, dude, I terrible. haven't. You know, we haven't. I haven't watched. Oh the, my god. The actual film in quite a while. I probably should re, re, re watch it. Yeah, I think they have it on Blu-ray. So. I think. I think so. But it has been a while. I will not make it. To where I was. Not before. been to a movie theater since Star Wars Episode Seven. Mm. Oh. Yeah, that's that's a while. That's a while. Yeah, that is a long time. We have we have it a puts nice, you off movies, huh? <laughs> we have a nice local theater near us, and uh, oh, we have one. when they have been open. God damn oh it. no! Okay, so much enemy variety. I know that is the trademark of VHZC. Yes. Seeing it on Boxing Day. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we'll do one more game each. Sure. Um. So when they've been open, we've gone. And they're one of these old school, you know, like, not stadium style theaters. And, uh... <laughs> but sloped enough. But very, yeah, very sloped, old school theater. And very big. So when they were allowed to open, they had to do it at a very reduced... Ah, that's a bad place to be. Very reduced capacity. Oh, Down to six. Those guys get me every... Ah, <laughs> I have to stop cornering myself. He hasn't given any bonus hearts. Either. No, where are the bonus hearts? Let's see. Probably wants to see how well people do before um, giving oh, any. Gosh. Oh gosh! Oh, no. this is terrible. 
Um, oh, I ran into it. Okay, this is just terrible. This is. I get another turn after this. Okay. It, awful. Matrix awful, was awful. our last triple marathon last month. Two and three are just okay. Just okay. That's about how I feel. That's how I feel about it too. Too convoluted. Too, just, eh, just nothing. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, here's some fights and stuff. And they just kind of make it way too complex. Oh, crash to the same spot. I'm very good at crashing. Well, at least it's consistent. Yeah, <laughs> consistently me. It may be after playing it a while. Yeah. That's when it crashes. Maybe, that's possible. Yeah. I like this intro too. It's great. Yeah, really nice. So you can keep all your health to the boss. It's really hard though. Oh, you only got it. Look at that. Oh. Right there. Want to play with this box too? He likes open lids on boxes. Doesn't really like sitting in boxes, but he likes. No, he's batting, funny that way, isn't he? Batting down lids of boxes. Oh, he's sitting in a box, and destroying it. Yeah. Oh, he. We used to have. We still have some. Oh, yeah. I didn't hit, hit it. Yeah, hit. I shot it. Did you? Yeah. Okay. You flash when you get hit. Okay. We have. We've had scratching pads for him. Cardboard scratching pads, but we got rid of them recently. Because they make a horrendous mess. Because he destroys them. He's doing what he's doing now. Oh, he's sitting in it. Uh, but he sits on them, which he's doing now. He misses it, probably. And he tears it apart with his teeth. Oh, oh you got two there. I know. I tried to run away. I tried to get in between. Oh, my gosh. No display of the score after game over. Cannot take note of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Need the score after. That's a bug. So it should say, what does it do? A full oh screen, oh, it does a full screen game over. Yeah, it should display the score. That's something to report to him as a suggestion. Or at least, like, well, he wants to go that full screen, so probably put the score on the full screen. Oh, you're destroying it. Nostalgic says, one of my cats likes to munch on the tape used to seal boxes. Oh. That's an interesting one. <laughs> they do have interesting um Some like plastic, fetishes, cats. Some like cardboard. Obviously some like tape. Um, they like string. Oh, we have to boss too. Oof. I only have like one life. I need yeah. some hearts, VH said see. Yeah. You watch this. I haven't even hit this guy. This guy's challenging. I mean, it's not... He's the ball's not hard to avoid, but hitting hitting him is challenging. Oh, he should be boss number one. Oh, have a good night, cuppy coffee cup arcade. Yes, thank you for coming. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for joining. And now that you're following and, and subscribing, yum, yum, yum. oh, it's treat oh, time. it's treat time for kitties. Good timing. All right, we do we have treats left? Oh, just barely. Ah, uh, come here. I just got here. What did I miss? D tree nuts. Not well, you, mean, you miss. Are you you're playing uh, Canon and D, right? Yep. Yeah, not too much. <sighs> Is the seventy eight hundred color palette the same as twenty six hundred? I believe it has the same number of colors. Uh, whether it's the same palette, I don't know. Uh. I believe Trebor would be the person to ask for that. Ah! Yeah. Ivory Tower collection knows about. Congrats on writing your, your final. Yes, train. hope you do well. Or, yeah. Oh. Or if you know already. Yeah, Ten probably seven. not yet. <laughs> oh! Did you ring the bell? I oh my god. You. I want to reset. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not paying attention. Just die then. Yeah. Just uh, ring the bell, kitty. Good Here kitty. we go. Good kitty. Die. Yeah. Kitty! 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 <laughs> I'm just going to start over after. It's okay. No one can see you play anyway. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm going to start over too. <laughs> Ring it. Ring the bell. Ring it. Yay! Good kitty! How many more do you have? Too many. Today was the first 
day he didn't cry during his lunch, which was nice. Mm. He, he mm. didn't he didn't look around too much and he didn't cry because mm. usually he's he um it's one of our one of our kittens died recently passed yeah. away, and Atari's been sad. He has been sad. So he cries every time we feed him because he's used to his Pix brother being there. Pixel being yeah. there. Um, but today he, he's, he's getting better. He's, That's good. That's he's getting good. a little bit better, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah poor Atari. Poor Atari. We miss, we miss Pixel too. Yeah. But Atari really oh. misses. Oh, no, no, no. There's no more. <laughs> Sorry, and, But he's still been crying at night because they usually play after we go to bed. Yeah. So it's oh. been hard on him. He can't, can't explain it to him. He just knows his brother isn't around. Yeah. To play with. And yeah. Have dinner with. But he's, 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 he's getting better. He's getting yeah. better. Yeah. It is sad for you, K. Ram. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's very sad. Yeah. RC7E says, my wife is watching Intervention in the other room. Intervention. And this song sounds like it's composed in treat bells. <laughs> <laughs> treat bells. That's funny. Oh, no. Uh, hard on everyone yeah when we yeah. sometimes look at the show after the fact yeah and there's a bell ringing he'll go nuts yes he's like oh give me food yeah give me some <laughs> treats and we're like it's not real treat time did you did you tell oh, uh people in the last stream that we noticed ah. that um oh no this one's this one is rough oh they're my pretty God. rough um what did we notice uh that uh atari will now come and smack us on the knee when he wants to get fed i don't know if i said that <laughs> yeah i think i did yeah james will sit on the couch and he'll come up and he'll just go smack. bing like he's ringing the bell like um please feed me <laughs> yeah very cute he's very funny <laughs> he actually did yeah. only did that once or twice and now he didn't do it again mm. it was cute though yeah 48k ram we lost one of our tiny dogs in february oh, oh i'm sorry, sorry to hear, hear that, that. it's are you very hard yeah are you considering getting him another playmate maybe but we're not going to rush not into yet. anything yeah it would probably be i don't know i don't know when it would be yeah <laughs> it'd be a while it would be a while oh instead ah okay doing one more I bet he's not saying please. No, when he's smacking me, we'll, we'll he's not going. saying please. Yeah, okay. We'll move on. We've got lots of games to play. Yes, we do. Awesome, awesome. Really love it. Great start. VHZC, love always, always amazing. Definitely play it again when yeah. he adds more to it because yeah. he didn't make it to the end of the bosses. <laughs> no. During the boss rush. Yeah. Um, so the next game we're going to be playing is Beef Drop. Mm. Um, do I have anything to show for this one? Yes, I do. So Beef Drop is a port, 7800 port of Burger Time. That's exciting. Um, so it was made by Ken Siders. Uh, first posted about 2004. Um, unfortunately, Ken passed away uh, in 2017. Um, but this is an archive.org of his website. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you guys can't see it. There you go. Um, and it says, in the beginning, there was Burger Time. Burger Time was never ported to any Atari 8-bit system other than the 2600. Really? And the 2600 version was... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. really rough. Interesting. Uh, this was an attempt to fix that. And my first attempt at a 7800 game by porting my game over from the 5200. And uh, there you can see it's under the 7800. He also did uh, Bonk and Block Drop for the 7800. Cool. And uh, Beef Drop for the 5200. Mm. And a bunch of games for the Atari 8-bit. Beef Drop, Pack Munch Jr., <laughs> uh, Burger Boy, another Burger, uh, Burger Time game, mm. and a bunch of other games. Um, so originally it was made for the 5200 8-bit. Um, bit system and it was kind of announced on march 31st 2004 oh i should bring this up and show you it's kind of funny there used to be um a, a trend of games being announced on april 1st <laughs> and to see if anybody catches on 
on April 1st. So this was posted March 31st, 2004. I received this a few days ago from a friend in the mail. Does anyone have any idea what company or person may have created it? It was a normal but unlabeled 5200 housing that was a little broken. <laughs> I'll try to get it ripped into a file soon when I get my EEPROM programmer hooked up. <laughs> so it says Burger Time 5483. Nice. Are we sure VHZC isn't a team rather than one person? It seems he's putting out new games constantly. Yeah, we always, we do question that. He's a one man <laughs> he's team. Prolific. Yeah. <laughs> prolific gamer. So, Game and designer and programmer, yeah. People uh, figured it out pretty quick. Hmm, what's today's date, by the way? <laughs> April 1st, 2004. So, yes. pretty funny. Yes. Um, and there was a, a label contest as well nice. here and tons of people put in, uh, their labels and I believe Henry, Henry Lee. Lee was the winner. That is nice. This label. That is really nice. Crazy yeah. artwork there. Nice. Yeah. Um, and lots of other really good labels too. That one looks nice. Very cartoonish. Yeah. I like that one too. Mm. Um, and I think that's all the show. So let's switch back over to the game and load that up. see it here but it was just uh, the atari logo rolling in mm -hmm. your adversaries frank mr yoke <laughs> dr dill <laughs> <laughs> um featuring chef pete nice and goes oh, into nice. demo mode and there you drop the burgers oh shows you Peppering. Peppering and always, dropping them. I'm terrible at this game because I always, always forget the pepper. Yes. I always forget. It's your defense. I just so, want to run around, run around. It's different skill levels. Probably you start yeah. with normal, I would say. Or you can start with kids, but kids is really easy. Or easy is pretty easy, too. Expert. Child. Child is easy. like easy. I'll just, like I'll enemies. try normal, and if it's too hard, we'll drop okay. it down. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm already in trouble, I think. No, oh, now you're, now you're good. Oh, should have gone to the left and dropped it on. I don't Go to the left I... and drop it on him. Go all the way to the top and drop it on him. Up, up, lead them to the left, lead them to the left. Oh, there you go. Because they will either go up or towards you. And they kind of alternate. Ah, ah, pepper. ah. Oh, I forget the pepper. I always forget the pepper. <laughs> So, Beef Drop oh. DE is a port of the popular arcade game Burger Time, which Ken Sider's first port of the Atari 5200 8-bit computer. 7800 owners are in for a special treat, as the 7800 version is even truer to the arcade, arcade experience. It features better graphics than the 5200 8-bit version, making 7800 version a definitive release of Beef Drop. The object of Beef Drop VE is to score as many points as possible by making hamburgers. To do so, Chef Pete must completely walk over each ingredient, buns, patties, lettuce, and more, in order to drop it to the next level. When all of the ingredients reach the tray at the bottom of the screen, the hamburger is complete. Assemble all four hamburgers. Uh, oh! Pepper. No, I tried to go oh, right, and right. I just kept going there. Uh, That's my fault. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, VHZC does the artwork in t-shirts. This t-shirt is VHZC t-shirt because he played this game. He has a lot of really nice t-shirts too. A lot of number of them. Um, but in this fast food joint, the food itself can be fatal. While Chef Pete is scrambling to make his burgers, his mortal foes, Frank, Mr. Yoke, and Dr. Dill, chase him relentlessly. If any of them catch Chef Pete, he loses a life. Chef, If Chef Pete loses all his lives, the game is over. Remember, when they're falling behind you, you can wait and then drop it on them. But only if they're falling behind you. Go up again. Up, up, up. Oh, there you go. Oh, we got a couple. Oh, good use of pepper. Not very good at getting 
That's okay. That's I'm okay. done. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chef Pete is not without recourse, however. By pressing either fire button, he can sprinkle a dash of pepper on his foes. The spicy substance stuns his foes for a few seconds, giving Pete a chance to make a quick escape. A pepper is precious. Pepper, pepper! And Pete only starts with five dashes of pepper. Yeah. Collecting an ice cream cone, coffee cup, or french fries earns Pete an additional dash of pepper. Mm. Beef Drop VE began, as, began life as an April Fool's joke in our Atari 5200 forum and quickly turned into a real homebrew development effort. For all... For all you wanted to know about Burger Time and more, please visit said burgertime.info. We held a Beef Drop label contest to design an original label for Beef Drop VE, and the contest was won by Henry Lee. Henry's label graces the label, label graces the label and manual with additional artwork featured inside the manual. Pepper. Run. Oh, oh, pepper. I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible. Oh, VH said you, you did you miss did. the game. <laughs> It was Sorry. awesome. I think I made it to like the fifth boss. Well, I don't know. Total boss? Yeah. I don't know because it. First, second, and then another one, and another one, and yeah. maybe another one. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I, I wasn't paying attention. paying attention. I was reading. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Yes. Very creative as usual. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wearing a shirt in honor of your, your yeah. new game. Yeah. Uh, it did crash uh, just after starting the game twice after us playing it a while, but you can check back in the video. Mm. Um, but it crashed at the exact same spot both times, so it is consistent. Um, yeah, it looked really, really good. I get too scared to do that. You just have to just wait. I guess, just time it. As long as they're over the bun. Yeah, you're okay. And the buns drop a lot more if you do that. That's so it's true. Actually... There's more weight. <laughs> that's I was wondering. Yeah, I get, there's more weight, right? So that's a good point. And if you get that ice cream cone, you get more pepper. Get the pepper. Good job. Pepper, pepper, pepper. So you kind of have to lead the enemies. Ah. Once you understand the, the leading of the enemies, then it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I can I can see it. that. And, and you kind of clear them out by doing that. So yeah. Ooh, can I make it? I only have to step on that. Yes. Good job. Oh, it didn't go to the bottom. No, I guess not. I think they have to be on the bun. Maybe for it to drop more than I one. I thought if you could... Oh. Get it, 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 get it. Never thought about the weight. Neither yeah. did I. <laughs> I just never thought about the weight. I was just like, oh, it's they captured it. the first thing it. I thought. Oh, there's more gravity. They're, oh, know, this is tough. This is very, very tough. This one is. I think it's because you're going up the middle for them all. Yep. And you have to get up to the top, <sighs> and they're already on their way. That's the problem. Oh, brutal. You can pepper them, I guess, too. Yeah, but I like to keep them. Yeah, but I like pepper. I always forget about the pepper. Yeah, weighted it down. I know, away. a lot. Oh, there's coffee. <laughs> Get the coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. coffee. Oh. You, exist, you owe your existence to coffee. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, damn it. Pepper. When I was young, I thought it's so odd you have an egg on a burger. They started appearing at Red Robin. Yeah, it's fairly oh, popular. Oh, really? <laughs> egg on, yeah. Our, I used isn't to make that, those. Um, a, an egg on a burger? Yeah. Not, not a burger. I would make an egg sandwich. Oh, I see, I see. Like from a fried egg. Um, oh, this is a terrible level. Don't they put like fried egg and spam on her Hawaiian burgers or something like that? Oh, I don't God. know. Fried egg and spam. I thought so. Well, yeah, spam is not my favorite. <laughs> not the best out of the processed meats. <laughs> Down you go. Yes. Oh, Good got job. one. Come up. Down, get, get this coffee. Coffee! Coffee! I'll get just the coffee. Complete this burger. Oh, they're coming for you. No, that was my last oh, burger. Oh, that was your last one! Good job. You get They're pepper good. from ice cream. Yes, it's pepper ice cream. Yeah, I've heard of that. Burgers on, over here in Australia is pretty normal. Damn it. I guess it's just a, it's just oh, a God. popular. Oh, God. Oh, Mr. Dill. <laughs> Mr. Dill. Yeah. Was scared me. Run! 
Right. Yeah, Mr. Dill is a funny shape. I guess it could be... It doesn't look like a sliced pickle. No. They're just... almost like misshapen gherkins or something, you know? Like, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there's a lot of enemies on this level. Oh, yes. See, it only went down smush. one. No, because they weren't on top. You smush them. When they're on top, they fall. Oh, my God. Yeah. When they're on top of it... Okay. They, 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 their weight pulls it down, but when, okay. when they're under it and you drop it, it oh. only goes one. So they go smush. It doesn't go further. Oh, oh my gosh, there's so many of them. This is normal? <laughs> this is normal. Oh my I guess arcade, which is normal. I guess so. Oh, oh my goodness. But I am on third level, which is like, time to get a new quarter in the machine. <laughs> <laughs> True enough. You haven't paid us enough to continue past three minutes. Ugh, so many. <gasps> the original pickleball. <laughs> Normal equals eat your quarters. Oh no, yep. Mr. Dill. Oh no, Mr. Dill. Normal equals eat your quarters. Yes, yes, yes. No pepper? Oh, I have no pepper. Yeah, you ran out of yep. pepper. No lives and pepper. Why is it beating the whole time though? Because it's like, don't bother pressing your button because you have no pepper. Yeah. Oh, God. Yes. You are about to die. See, it yep. goes further. Go, go, go. Run, 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 run. I don't know how you dodge those guys, but good job. Skill. Pure <gasps> skill. Oh, now you have pepper. Sweet. Ooh, can I get a ton? Oh, guys, here. No! no, I can't. I can't. Oh, no. It misstepped. Ooh. Out of pepper again. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I don't know how you managed that. Ooh, keep going, Mr. Egg. <laughs> keep going. Run, run, oh. run, run. Oh, my God, that was so close. <laughs> I'm going to die here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Oh, I got them all. You got them all. Oh my god, that was so lucky. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Surprised there wasn't a Mr. Bill game. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is this one going to be harder or easy? Oh. There's a lot of paths. I have no pepper still. Oh my god. You need some coffee. Coffee makes everything better. Oh no. And uh, Yeah. So I have. That's number levels, fourth level. Mm. Pretty good, not bad. Nice. This this game does make me hungry. <laughs> yes. It does make me want a want a burger. Yep. Okay. All right. Do you want to go? Oh, do you want to set the skill level so we can see all the levels? Oh, do you want to? Do you want? Can we reset or should I just die? I'll just die. Oh, there we go. So, good. well, that was child. Haha. <laughs> easy. Easy. Normal. I would, I would go easy. Okay. Child is like so easy. Okay. Nice kill there, Jim. So thank you. I surprised myself. Like, that was... That was a lot of... I got every single guy on the board in the burger. Just because they were following so close to me. Because I'd evaded them. No, no, no. Down, down, down! I'm gonna throw pepper. Ah! Oh, I think you wasted two on that. Did I? Yeah. Get it! Nice. I like the arcade font. Yeah, really good font in the score. Come cuddle. Come on. Come on. He gave you treats. Come on. Watch your feet. Come on. Cuddles. He's looking up at the treats. Oh, yeah. Are you looking up at the treats? Come over here. Yes, She's playing. Kitty. Pepper Panic. That's a good name for the game. If you had to pick another name. Mm-hmm. Nice rounds. There you go. Now you're getting it. And I think there's less enemies when you play on easy. And on child mode, there's only two enemies. So that makes it really easy. Oh, oh. There you go. I mean, you never really 
get rid of them, they do come back. Yeah, they do. That was smart staying down so that the egg went down instead of up. Oh, oh! Doesn't last forever. No, it does not. I'm just gonna come to the side. I think they alternate. Like, they go down and then across. Down and then across. So if they're so if they're going down, they're gonna go across the next one. Down and across. Okay. Why not burger burger time? time. Burger nice. to go. Oh, you gotta run on this one. I know. Straight up. Up, 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 all the way to the top. Up, 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 up. Burger to go! That's a good name, too. Nice. Ooh, oh, nice move. And also, capturing them in the burger gets the round done oh, quicker. That's good. You're on a ladder, so you can't go left or right. Oh, really? Yeah, you're on a ladder. Just down. Yeah, it goes up, over, up, over. And it goes down, then it went over, now it's down. Still have three. Oh, coffee cup down there. Okay. Go. Ah! Doesn't last very long, does it? Ooh, go on. They're coming. What are you doing? Ah! Oh, pepper and run. Oh, oh got another goodness. pepper. And it's always good to get the top when you can. Because if you get stuff underneath it, it doesn't really count. Because you still have to drop the top anyway. And the top cascades. Good job. Mm. At least it's not time. I believe the enemies follow certain rules. So, like you so. notice, the Franks always have to take the next ladder they come to and will either go up and down depending on the position with yours on the screen. Mr. Egg, I believe, can skip ladders. But only one ladder can be skipped. Oh, really? So some of them have special abilities, and some of them don't. Well, that makes sense to not program them all the same. Okay. You're gonna have to baby pepper. Yeah. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get that coffee cup. Nice! And you're done! The burger time dance. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of old arcade games did that kind of... Con like, uh, end move. Oh, uh. Waste! Holy cow, what a combo that end move was. It was good. So it is better to wait for them to follow you to drop the burger, because then it'll go down, rather than just dropping it. But, I mean, dropping is good, because it does reset them. Mr. A, uh, Mr. Pickle, or Dill, on the other hand, can go straight for you. Oh, let's see they're the deadliest ones. I'm gonna watch Mr. Dill's habits here. Uh, uh, you're out of. It's not a good sign. Out of power-ups. You have to use your wits. Am I? Uh -oh. Yeah, you used your wits. Yay! Did I? <laughs> Capture those guys. No. Oh no! No cascade. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. You're in a tough spot. All the way down. All the way down. There you go. Down. Down. Oh, whew. get that. Get those fries. Is that beeping for the pepper? Yeah, it's so you don't have to look to know whether you have pepper or not. It's kind of annoying, but it's pretty useful. <laughs> them all. Extra. Yeah, feed them all down and go around and get that, get that fries. Or maybe not. Maybe you can. Probably. There you go. You faded. it. Game Boy version is two. Is it? Is it really good? I'll have to, um, I'll have to pick up the Game Boy version of that. That'd be a good travel game. Of course, when I get the uh, pocket, oh. uh, analog pocket, I'll be able to play all the games on the go. All the Game Boy games. So I ordered it a couple days ago, before the last show. 
and um, they just emailed me saying when I am expected to get it. So I didn't get in the first round of orders, even though I ordered it within like three minutes of it going live. Um, so mine is expected on fourth quarter 2022. Fourth sucks. quarter? Yeah, fourth quarter 2022. So winter oh 2022. <laughs> It'll be a while. And uh, Ivory Tower Collection was oh boy, oh, yeah. was asking me about you know putting a links on the show, which would oh. be awesome to do. Yeah. So lots of links games, and it'll be in, and we're, we've put links in the Atari Homebrew Awards this year. So it'll be good to play some of them. We're gonna have to play them on emulator this year um, for when we do the summary. Gonna leave that pe pickle up. Get it down. Oh, where you go? Oh my God, <laughs> danger. Oh. Oh boy, down, wait, and then down now, good, now go, go across, and then down, or up, uh, uh, I can't, go down! Oh. oh, it doesn't matter, I'm dead. <laughs> Still no. got four lives left. Oh, I do have a lot of lives, that's good. This one's hard. Basically a year out, yeah. So, I mean, I'll be looking for links at the conventions when those start up again. So many. <laughs> this is easy. Look at them all. Yeah, level three. Oh RC70 oh got 2023 for his order. Oh my goodness. I don't think it even said what. Dead. Not yet. Oh. Yeah. That sausage might have gone to the left. Unlikely. Can you turn onto ladders easier if you hold the stick diagonally? I think you can do diagonals. I don't know if you're doing diagonals. Or are you doing exactly left right? I'm pretty sure you can do diagonals. When I get to play once more, oh, goodness. again. Actually, we'll probably move on to the next oh. game. No, nope. dead, 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 dead. Because it's more perfect time. Dead. You have one, one more thing to do. You can do it. Sadly, you don't get any pepper <laughs> when you go to the next level. Oh, no. You just have to survive. There's no like bonus pepper. There we go. They probably went 2023 unknown because of, you know, chip shortages and stuff. And they're like, I don't know what we're going to get. And they know how much they're going to get for 2022. So really the best strategy is head for the top is if you can. Because dropping those things are not useful. Let him ride it. Oh no, he didn't. Oh, that one will come. Perfect. Down it goes. Oh, we're gonna have to do one. Yeah, make sure you're a little bit closer to them, because they that pepper doesn't go very far. It's like just barely oh. in front of the pepper. Oh, you don't have any. Do it. Run. Down. Run. <laughs> Run. Ice cream cone. You're not gonna do it. It's a little bit out of your reach at the moment. But I'm looking forward to the analog pocket. It looks awesome. Especially when the link... Hopefully by then the links adapter will be uh, also available. Because I ordered the uh, Game Gear adapter, which is the only adapter that's available right now. But I, there is a possibility that they will release... Or somebody will make the cores available for links beforehand. And then... Um, uh, jailbreak the SD card, which I believe I read because oh, it wasn't a cascade. That every single other one of their other products have been jailbroken for the SD card, mm -hmm. so that means I'll be able to load Lynx games regardless on it, uh, or even Atari 2600 games on the go, or 7800 games, um, as long as the cores are made for them. Eat it. Uh oh. Yeah, nope. the pepper. Still have three lives. Anyone know who is working on the cores? Is Kevtra still on their team doing stuff? I wonder if there's a thread on Atari Age for the analog pocket. I bet there is. At least a thread, if not a, um, a forum. Because it is the. the 
console did come out. You do have a pepper. Ooh, so close. Oh. Because it would be great to be able to load, like, all the cores. <laughs> Just every core that's possible on there. Run for that ice cream. Scream for the ice cream. No! Oh! oh, just get somebody on that burger. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. There you go. Will it complete? Yes! That's how you do it. Wait for two to come across. <laughs> Those are massive burgers. Oh, yeah. And he stepped all over them. Do you want to eat them, really? <laughs> Who knows what you get when you go to McDonald's. And... I mean, he could he could be putting those little booties on. The Cause booties? Because he, he... The little uh, Kevlar booties. Little Kevlar booties, so that... It, and they're washed. Everything's clean in this environment. Very sterile. You do have one pepper. Nice. Oh, I didn't get the other guy. This level looks like a giant trap. There's a, there's only one way to go on a lot of these things. It is bad. You gotta keep yeah, ahead keep of them. Ahead of them, I know. This is a giant trap. Level five. Oh. Oh no. Oh, there's a ladder there. Didn't see that. It was covered by the coffee yeah, cup. Yeah, it was. Oh boy. Yeah, giant trap, right? Do you have two peppers? Wait for them. Gotta wait for them. They go much faster. It's nice when they're on those levels because. Yes. They, now you they, can just they, go they for They have it. only certain paths they oh, can perfect. follow. Oh, perfect. your pepper for this last guy. Nice. Sounds like a bird. Cheep, 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 cheep. Yep. I was reading about the cores somewhere. Oh, no. I think it was in a Lynx thread. Dead? And they were asking oh. about the cores. It's oh, about three lives. Terrible. Um, they were asking about the Lynx core. And they were providing... They weren't saying who was doing the cores, but they were like, oh, it's not this core because... Uh, analog doesn't use open source or this or something like that. So I'd, I'd be... Oh, that's a trap. Wait till they're, all of them are under you. As many as possible. And then. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. That's tough. It's a challenging one for sure. We made it to level six. Is which it? is all the levels, actually. Really? Yeah, this is the last mm. level, so we've seen all the levels, which is great. Pepper. Steal the pepper off those fries. Oops. Oh, you're gonna trap yourself. But you have one pepper. Oh, no, you can get him down. Good. Uh, go up, 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 all the way to the top. Up, 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 up. Oh, oh. he got me. Jump. Yeah, jump. Yeah. Jump Woo! up. Jump. <laughs> no, no jumping. So both buttons just do pepper in this. No jumping in burger time. It's a shame. Maybe Burger Time too. No, no such thing. <laughs> oh, I missed him. Terrible. Uh -oh. uh oh. There you go. Down. Ah. Wait. 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 Oh god. Oh, perfect. Get yeah. that. Get that pepper. Perfect. Go all the way up to the. Ooh. No. Ooh, this is gonna be bad. I do have pepper though. Oh, trap him. Wait, 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 wait. Nice. And the egg. Run. Not to use that pepper. Good job. Good job. Get that egg. Get him. Trap him in it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, yes. Just. This is not This is a nightmare level. level. It is not easy at all. Oh, lead him down. Oh, gosh. Oh! This is a, this is a trap. <laughs> this is a trap. <laughs> this whole level is a trap. Oh, Burger Time 2 Diner. Mm. Diner? Diner? Is, oh, there, is there a Burger Time 2? I've never played it. I bet there is. Uh, it seems like you have to lead them away from the area you want to work on and then go back there to drop the burgers, but that wouldn't give any points. Oh, you've got so... Yeah. Oh, you might do it. No. Oh, 
I'm dead. No, dead again. <sighs> this one's tough. It's a bunch of dead ends. It's all dead ends. You have to get back to yeah. the middle really quickly. Nice. Very good, though. That is a very good version. Very good. So we're going to do um, more beef drop now. Okay. Um, more beef drop. Uh, buy the cartridge at Target. But first, I'm going to show you what, how he made it, mm. just very briefly. So, this is made by Jay Weir, Jeff Weir, uh, uh, September 1st, 2006. But he made, so when you're making games, sometimes you have to make something to make the game. Mm. So he made a level editor for Beef Drop. So he made Beef Drop Construction Set. Oh, cool. Um, so oh, you can funny. alter all the maps, put anything where, wherever you want. So you can make them all dead ends. Make, that, make it yep, a, all the dead impossible ends. burger time game. <laughs> so there you can map out the burgers. Nice. Uh, and there's the other screenshot of another level. Nice. That he made. Um, so... You can load beef drop ROMs, save them, load levels, save levels, set pepper bonus locations, mm. set pepper bonus triggers. Oh, I guess there's triggers. Yeah, when they show up. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Determine when the pepper bonuses will appear on the level. Set chef start, end level locations, where all the burgers have to go. Enemy settings. Determine which enemies and their start locations. Number of levels per game. Mm. De default as six, which we saw all of them. It'd be custom one to ten levels. Number of starting lives, number of starting peppers. And uh, yeah, so you can make this in Windows. So that is really, really cool. Mm -hmm. So you can make your own if you wish. So let's switch back to the game. Looks like it's frozen. Press the button. Oh! Let's set it to easy, not hard. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> or child. Easy is pretty good. Yeah. I found, actually, I didn't find that much difference between easy and normal. They're both hard. Yeah, wait till you play these levels. Harder? <laughs> yeah. So he's, he's in his thread. He said, uh, here's my first attempt at hacking, hacking the 7800 version of Beef Drop. Includes new or modified levels, including a seventh level. Also, you start with an extra life and pepper. So you get more peppers and more lives, which is well, good. That's definitely because awesome. these levels are pretty good. Um... And for the Beef Drop construction set, said, I actually wrote this a couple years ago, but never got around to sharing. I'm on a new project now, and I've rediscovered it and figured it's time to share it with the rest of the world. I actually wrote some detailed documentation, and it's probably worth a read before getting started. This is what I used to create my Xmas hack of Beef Drop, beef drop back in 2006, which is what we're playing now. Nice move. All the way to the bottom. Write it down. A thousand points. And that's how you get through the levels quick. Is getting them to ride those. Oh, we didn't need to do that. Can we do it? Go back up and oh, on the side. Oh no, you can still do it. Yeah, you can do both of them. Nice, nice, good job. Um, so Jeff Weir has made a number of hacks and utilities for making his hacks. 41, 500, 4, Tanya on Beef Drop. Make sure you put easy as well. Hey. Because she was on easy. <laughs> it matters. You don't, you don't need because that's to not an expert easy. score. That was a pretty good score. Yeah. I don't know if I could have made it on normal to level six. Uh, level five hard. and six look really, really challenging. Put them all together. I know. Get them. No, no, no. Wrong side. Wrong start side. What? No, 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 what are you no. talking about? Well, if you trap them all together oh, no, and get no, tons no, no. of bonus points. I just want to get it done. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can't wait for that. <laughs> I do like Excellent. Diner and play it quite a bit when I play in television. Is, is Diner the ones with like a whole bunch of levels and you have to roll things down and there's ramps and stuff? I seem to remember seeing screenshots. I've never played it. Um, and I believe it's quite a rare game, too. Mm. Oh, didn't Stump. need to do that. Oh, got another chance. Mr. Sausage. Oh, 
can't remember the names. They're cute. Plays kind of isometric perspective. I think it is the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. Coffee. Eight wheel. peppers. Get them. Get them. Oh. Is that what they are? Peppers? Which? Those? Those red? Those are sausages. Those aren't are they? sausages. Oh, okay. Are you just... oh, you mean the pepper? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the pepper. Kind of plays as and yes, roll balls of food onto a plate at the bottom. So, just as unhygienic as this game. Fabric. Oh my God, Get skilled now. Now to play Burger Time. We're gonna have to play it in the. Uh, just taking risks. An ar the, ar <laughs> the arcade version next time. That we, uh, oh. Didn't go far. Uh. Next time we're at PRG, we'll have to uh, play the arcade. Oh yeah. I don't think it was. I, I don't think Burger Time was at our local arcade. I don't remember no, seeing it. I don't it. remember seeing it. I probably would have. I bet it maxes out at nine, the peppers. Probably. Yeah. But I don't know. Someone might, probably might have two someone. digits. Basically, when you touch the food, it rolls on its own a level or two down the ladders, taking out an enemy on that is in the way. Okay, so same concept, different viewpoint. Went away. I know. That's interesting. No! Wait till they're on the burger. Drop them to the bottom. Good job. Never had this on the C64. I don't remember playing this on the C64. I never had it either. Ooh, ooh. Oh, one of them. Not as many balls of food to roll either as there are burger parts. So the levels can be knocked out quicker. Mm. Oh, nice. mm, when I play, I start off at level two. Thank you for the awesome stream as always. I'm off for the night. I need beef drop, beef drop in my life. Thank you, Neo Media. Thank you for go down, watching. Go down! Oh my goodness. Do, do diagonals work? Yeah, they do a little. Oh, okay. Oh no, can I go across? Oh, it's a dead end! Oh no. Dead and no, see you next time, Neo Media. Oh, go straight. Go <laughs> left. Uh, the the Bottom right. Mm. They're all doing their own thing. Oh no, you still have one bottom left. Yeah, yeah. They're all confused there. Uh, there there's a weird a gap. Time. There's a weird gap. I'm gonna have to pepper these guys. Yeah. Hi. Level four, Edison. Have a good night, Neo Media. They're going. What? what? They, they <laughs> ran off the screen. Isn't that funny? I guess there's a path there. That's weird. I guess when he hacked it, it, it does some weirdnesses. The Aztec Temple. Yeah, yeah, very temple-like. Oh, oh, mean. Just, oh, oh. Oh, there you go. They're not the smartest. No, you can kind of lead them in the direction you want. Oh, hi. He's like, Paul, can you pet me? Oh, what are they doing over there? I don't know. <laughs> They're like I'm hanging like, out and, and uh, we're totally going to go. Totally fine with that. Whoa, whoa. whoa. They are supposed to. Oh, They're not supposed going to a start little, up on that. Something's going a little weird. Yeah, on this right. level. They're like they're like running off the screen. And then appearing out of nowhere. Did you get it? Yeah. Yes, I did. Oh, 
Oh, I thought of the Broderbund logo. Or what, how, do, how do you pronounce it? Bruderbund? Bruderbund. Bro, it's not even Bruderbund, No, is it's it? not. It's, it's not Bro, what you expect Bro, it to be. Bro, Bro, Broderbund? Broderbund? Bruderbund? Broderbund. It's one of those. So we watched a video on it, and somebody pronounced it like, Oh, that's how you say it? Oh, double pepper time. Even up all the peppers. Bro Bruderbund logo is like a... What is their logo? Well, it's a line through the O on their, on their O. Something like that? No. No, that's the two dots. That's the two dots? Umlaut. Umlaut. What? Umlaut. O sound. O? Broderbund? Broderbund. That's what it was. And I was like, Broderbund? I never would have thought that. Nope. Evaded. Kind of. Now down the middle. Nice moves. <laughs> Level five. Two more. This one and two more. Now they're walking on <laughs> invisible ladders. It's really funny. It's like there's ladders there, but they're not... Perfect. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, is there a light? Yeah. Yeah, all the ingredients are doing their own thing. They're <laughs> off. They're off in Never Never Land. Oh, it disappeared what? or did I get it? I didn't I keep know. track of how many you had. I'm just going to go for it. Yeah. No, it's just easier. Yeah, when they're nowhere near you. You don't want the collective to come. Ooh, 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 just snuck under there, I think. And wait for it. Oh no. Let him ride it. Oh no. Yeah. Oh! Gonna have to pepper that guy. Oh no. So many oh. pepperings. Yeah. Uh oh. Mm. There you go. It's oh to path to the left. That's okay. I was just gonna see if I can. Uh, oh. Nuts. That was bad. Tanya getting a haircut from the Frank. Right along the top. Oh, come on! Oh, no. Come on! I think you're almost maxing out on lives anyway, so. Oh, oh we did go down with Bottom. it. That's good. Level six. I got a haircut yesterday. Yes, you it's did. It's getting fuzzy. I have the 5200 version of this, and it's great, but I grew up with the Intellivision one, and it's hard for me to play any other version. Oh, I don't know if I played the Intellivision version very much. I definitely did not play the 2600 version. It is not great. <laughs> it's not great. Whoa! Oh. Peggy, out of nowhere. Things are a bit weird with this hack. A lot of appearing and disappearing and wandering, uh, wandering ingredients. Mm -hmm. Spammer! Oh, Spammer, why? Oh, God. It's such a happy sound for when they catch the chef. I can't do anything on this thing. No? You can do it on my... Report somebody. Mm -hmm. It's like a ten-minute thing. Is it? Like you have to give a reason. Oh really? And like go through three screens, and it's like if you just want to report a spam bot, it should just be like one thing. Yeah. On Twitch. What's the problem? Spam bot. But I had to go through four screens, and then I had to type something as well. It's like I don't have time for that. I have a show to do, and I guess if you have a moderator for the channel, they they have enough time to do that. As the host? No, I do not. I'll just kick him. Did it work? Yep. Okay. Good guy. Oh, yeah, I blocked him. 
this you? Yes, it is me. Oh, so you bought them. Oh, cut. Thank you, Raptor. There we go. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, the chat's too far gone. <laughs> Too far gone on my screen because I just put it up. So I can't do anything with him. You know, want to make sure you know, I'm stand by. Well, the spammers just do one thing anyway. They just go in and go out. Once, because when you log in on the Twitch chat, sometimes it has stuff that you can scroll back, and sometimes it doesn't. And this one, it's like, nope. Nope, can't scroll back. ColecoVision, the ColecoVision looks really good, but something feels off when I play I can't put my finger on it. How many mods are here? One, me. <laughs> So we don't usually have any trouble, and usually I'm logged in. You shouldn't be logged in. I don't know. It's been me. It's me. it's been me for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna have to log myself in because I do moderation from there. Pepper. Uh, oh no, Pepper. No pepper. <gasps> no, you got lives. Oh, you're on the last level. Okay. Am I? Yep. Yeah. So if you complete this, it'll wrap around or congratulate you. I don't know what it'll do. <laughs> Crash. left a bit before that egg. Oh! Nice. Tricky. Getting too good. No, Getting I'm not. too good. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, why is he coming from the bottom? No! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh, no. <laughs> that was really close. <laughs> no peppers. going to come out the bottom too. I know oh. it! I know it! Lead him away. Lead him up. There you go. Do it. Quick, 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 quick. Yay! Is that the last level? Yep. You did it! Yay! There you go. Re re loop back to one. All right. You want to play? No. Okay. No, we showed all the levels. That's, that was Yay! So much fun. Good stuff. Thank you, Nostalgic. And off to our last game. <laughs> Which is... Oh! Ooh, sorry. <sighs> Do it's not between us. Don't stop down. There. Kitty, come here. Um, so, do I have anything to show about? Yes, I do I have stuff to show about Space Duel. Okay. Because it is an arcade game, mm -hmm. port of an arcade game. So we're going to take a look at what the arcade game looks <laughs> Bratwurst like. Bratwurst to the bum. <laughs> yeah, it was it was close. Yep. Also, almost had to go to Very the dangerous. emergency. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very dangerous. So, here we go. Let's take a look. Space duel gets brutal. Mm. Yeah, so here's the arcade. <laughs> Try to explain that in the air. Yeah. Well, I was <laughs> playing Atari 7800 games. And they're like, then, what? And then my my wife put the joystick on and the I couch. I didn't see it. And I sat back down because I the was what? changing games. The joystick? The joystick? What's a joystick? <laughs> a joystick? What's a joystick? Um, so this is uh, by Bob DeCrescenzo. Not this. This is the yeah. arcade um, before somebody puts in a quarter. Um, so let me read a bit about the arcade version. It is a vector-based game, mm -hmm. color vector-based game. So. Not too many of those. Um, Star Wars was one. Uh, designed by Rick Moore, Owen Rubens, Steve Calfay. Ooh. Ooh. Um, and Dave Shepard. Okay. And very colorful looking. Nice sounds too. Uh, <clears throat> it was put out in 1982. Uh, oh, I'm gonna die. One second. <laughs> Space Duel is an arcade game released in 1982 by Atari. Mm -hmm. uh, it is direct descendant of the original Asteroids, with Asteroids replaced by colorful geometric shape like cubes, mm -hmm. diamonds, and spinning pinwheels. Space Duel is the first and only multiplayer vector game by Atari. So you can play two players at once on this. 
Uh, when Asteroids Deluxe did not sell well, this game was taken off the shelf and released to moderate success. Um, it was never ported to anything really? in the original run. Obviously, it's been ported now um, as a homebrew. Player has five buttons, just like uh, Asteroids. Um, to, two to rotate the ship left or right, one to shoot, one to activate the thruster, and one for force field. Um, so on the joystick version, left and right to rotate, forward for thruster, one button for shoot, one button for um, force field. Shooting all the objects on the screen completes a level, like Asteroids. Mm -hmm. um, Space Duel, Asteroids, Asteroids, Deluxe, and Gravatar all use similar five button control system. So that is the arcade version of it. So. It looks really cool. Yes. Yep, 1980. Did it say 1980 in Roman? Yeah, Did it? It sounded like it. It said 1983 on the Wikipedia. Yeah. RC70 says, My five-year-old asked what a joystick wow, is the other day, say... and I realized how suggestive the name is. <laughs> it does say 1980. Yes. Why is this lying? 1980? That says 1980. Oh. Uh, and you have 1982 release? Maybe it didn't get released in the arcade until 82. Maybe. Oh. That's very interesting. Hmm. Anyway. Um, let's start up the game. So this is by Pac-Man Plus. Very nice. Amazing. Ooh. Bob DeCrescenzo. Bob DeCrescenzo. As Fraser Makes... Cat Game says, I automatically assume that every 7800 game is by Bob. I think that would be a good assumption. <laughs> that is that is a good that is a good by first assumption. By sheer numbers. Assume Bob until told otherwise. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he pretty much monopolized 7800 games yeah, um, for quite a while. For yeah. Quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> So here is player one control. I will talk a bit about the game. Oh. So advanced, expert, intermediate, novice, mm -hmm. two players, competition play, Ooh. team play. Ooh. So lots of options. That's probably one then the other. Yeah. yeah. So you probably want to be novice one player to begin with. Okay. I'm not very good at these kinds of games. So first button to shoot and up for thrust. And then the other button for shield. So definitely remember the shield. It's like the pepper. <laughs> pepper in burger time. Always remember your defenses. Shooting it only makes it angry. Oh, done. bonus level. Don't crash into things on the bonus level. Oh, they're going to exit the screen. No. Oh, they keep going. Does it... Uh, support moving the stick backwards for shields. No, the second button is the shield. These this, are which, beautiful. Which I prefer, rather than back. If this was on the 2600, it would have to be back. Yeah, I would stay away from the edges because you don't know what's coming I around. Know, I know, I'm, I'm really great at... Um... <laughs> just immediately running into things. So. I programmed a Roman clock as a screensaver for the Atari 8-bit in the 80s. Oh, that's cool. Um, I started to use Roman numeral copyright dates in Magical Fairy Force. I'm trying to bring them back into style. They are very cool. Um, very popular with movies when doing dates. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot I love these. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, oh, come on. That was cheap. I think you uh, don't, uh, don't touch the joystick until you're safe. I think that was the problem. You're on the joystick already. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Nice. Uh, I program. Uh, does it? Oh, but that means having to use the pain line controller. Buy a new joystick, man. There's so many <laughs> options. Buy this one. Bratwurst. Buy the bratwurst. It's really good. Um, no, I have things Good to more do. more to say? <laughs> I have things to do. Um, so for the, from the Atari Age store, where you can buy this, and also Beef Drop, you can buy Beef Drop too. Oh, resilient. There you go. Space Duel is a third generation of asteroid-style shooters from Atari, following on the heels of Asteroids and Asteroids Deluxe. Unlike Asteroids Deluxe, Space Duel is a more radical departure from its predecessor. Featuring a wide variety of colorful geometric shapes you must destroy. And several new types of enemies, each with unique behaviors you have to contend with in order to stay alive. In addition, there's a bonus round where players can earn extra points. 
Like many great games, Space Duel is easy to learn, but takes time and practice to master. Space Duel features several two-player ver variations, including Competition Space Duel, where you compete against the other player for points, and your shots destroy the other player. And Team Space Duel, where you and another player share reserved ships and don't need to worry about friendly fire. Space Duel comes to life on the Atari 7800 thanks to the efforts of Robert De Crescenzo, who extensively modified the original version of Asteroids to add all the unique Space Duel gameplay elements, graphics, and sounds. So you've played this before, but I haven't. When we, when we did uh, Developer Spotlight on Bob De Crescenzo, oh, really? we played all of his games. Yeah. Every single game. Well, you played Those all of his Those are my favorite games. days. I just get to play games for like hours. Ah! You I keep accelerated into know. it. No, but I keep forgetting my... Um, shields. Shields. Oh, you're getting to the edge. No, 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 no. Stay in the middle. A friend at my work owns an actual cab of this. Wow. Oh, that would be very cool. Yeah. I mean, the ultimate... One of the ultimate cabs for me for vector base, besides... Um, well, besides Star Wars... And Tempest. Um, this would be a good one. But those those other two would be really awesome vector based games. Though. But my first one would be Galaga. For sure. If I had if we had room for it. No! What are you doing? No! You're all over the place. There you go. Hitting it too hard. Oh, extra shot. Good job. Doing much better. I remember seeing the arcade cabinet for this at PRG one year. Oh really? Oh I'd love to see this in person. It is dark, though. I find some of the uh, this is dark. Yeah. The things on the screen are very hard to see. There was an update today for the retro tank. Oh yeah. Which can correct colors on the retro tank, so we'll be able to brighten it before it reaches the TV. The people out there in Twitchland and YouTube can see it just fine because I've brightened it up for you. But here, it's not a bright output, unfortunately. So I'll be in, I didn't want to install it today because we're doing the show. So I'll probably install it tomorrow or the next day. And then I will be able to do much more settings on the retro tank. And hopefully they've um, Mike has fixed the 2600 issues, uh, the RGB mod 2600 issues, where it kind of curves at the top a little bit. Because there's tons more settings now that he's included. So we'll see. Just haven't had time to make a make a video for Mike to send it to him so he can see what it looks like. Because the chance of somebody having a retro tank and oh, your shields. Shield! And and a RGB modded 2600. Oh shield! Ah! Shoot it! Ah, run away! Do you have infinite shields? It kind of looks like it was it getting dim a bit. It does look, look like you have infinite shields. Uh, mm -hmm. So how many angles does the ship have? Yeah. Good question. Let me screw this joystick back on. <laughs> Grabbing another drink. Do you, need, okay. do you need water or anything? No, I'm not. I'll be right back. Kitties. So it has quite a bit. I would say at least 16. You can do pretty good rapid fire, actually. get to the center of it. Huh. Ah. Which takes out things pretty nicely, especially when you they break apart. Ooh, cleared out the bonus level quick. If I was guessing I would say 16 directions. Yeah, 16, for sure. Wall of bullets, run into my wall of bullets. Oh. These little crosses, oh my god. Oh, I pressed the, the shield, but it was too late. Oh, hand slipped. Okay, pass through me, thank you towards the center a bit more. Ah, too much. Anything? 
thing. Uh, I noticed when you get a bonus level, did you answer that question? Nope. There's I'm usually a number, bonus level 20, 60. bonus level 40. Yeah, this one said 60. What does the number signify? Apparently we don't know. Good question. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, this crisis. And there's like another score at the left. That would be top score, I think. At the top is the top score and at the left is yours in the red? I don't know, uh, which everyone's going up That makes mine. sense. Why did this go black? Watch it. Not plugged in. Is it sick? It says it's plugged in though. Okay, well it's not plugged in properly now. Cat chew. Looks like I'm running out of shields. I think you do. Oh, yeah, it's getting dim. Goodness. What is? Shield. Your shield? Yeah, I think oh, you have like you... a finite amount of shield so for the whole game. So it is an infinite. Game. Oh, interesting. Nice. Yeah. I, I didn't read what the bonus level was. It came up so fast, too. Yeah. Let me reposition myself on this bonus level. It's a good time to do it. It is, actually. Oh, I'm a little faster. Oh, These are my beautiful. God. I love these oh. rotating... Uh, Ah, colorful. Uh, yeah, they're really great. They're like something right out of like a tech demo um, for a system. They always make colorful rotating cubes in the demos. Oh, they're not tiny crosses. Cubes, but I'm trying to think of the name of what that shape is. Rhombozoids. Are they rhombozoids? No. I guess so. Rhomboids? No. Does anybody know? They're eight sided. Octahedron or something oh, like that? No. no, that doesn't sound like Oh, I pressed the button and made myself invincible mm. instead of invincible. Tetrahedron. 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 That sounds about right. Bonus level 20, yeah. bonus level 40. I'm not sure. Okay, we're going to play two player uh, co op. So, friendly fire. No friendly fire? Or friendly fire. Competition? Mm -hmm. Team play is, is you can't kill each other, right? Yeah. Okay. Team play. More, More popular than is D8. D8. Well, yeah, it's D8 for sure. Press the button to start. Where am I? Oh. You okay, have to I'm hit. green. And is red. And we can't kill each other. Remember your shields. You almost just died. No, I didn't. Yeah. Just it was like one pixel away from you. Crazy. Are we still on novice? Yeah. Novice got hard quick. Did, did we play a novice? Did... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, novice got hard quick. Yeah. Ah, ah. Ah. No! Jeez, Slow down! Really... Slow down! <laughs> I always, I always get too excited with the thrusters, and then you're flying all around the screen. Panicky. I know, panic. <laughs> thruster panic. That'd be a good name for you. Yep, thruster panic. Thruster panic. I like, it's funny that some of the bonus things Goodness. are in the normal level. <laughs> yeah, the stars. Like the stars. I the love stars the shapes cool. of the stuff in this I know, game. me too. These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes. These, all of these rainbow multicolored ones, I think, are gorgeous. And there's the spiky rotating balls as well. I don't like those diamonds that take like a billion shots and keep changing color. Yeah, they're more like an. an, an oh. Died? Yeah. Oh. We share lives, by the way. We do? Yeah, because oh, it's no. co op. That's not good. Oh gosh. I almost got hit, but it's so dark. Yeah. That was really dark. The blue one, the dark blue ones are really hard to see. Ah. I don't think it's level 80. I don't know what the 80 means. Oh, 
Oh, oh, damn it. Don't press any oh. buttons. You're killing all our lives. Yeah, when you die, just take your hand off the controllers because if you move, you're... No, but if you move, or I, if you move, I start over too. Oh, right into it. No more co-op. Oh no! Get those bonuses! Oh, coming for me. Oh, died on the bonus level. Is it really a bonus level if you can die on it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's more like a normal level where you can die, but you get more points. Mm -hmm. There's one more option. <laughs> the manufacturer of the Bratwurst should show a video of James firing to demonstrate how durable their controller uh, is. <laughs> Smack it hard. There's <laughs> now team play, which is very interesting. Okay. Press button. That's what we... Oh. oh. Isn't that what we played? Oh, there's one where you're tied together. Oh. Really? Where is that? It's not team play. So. Sorry. Can you move it? Because I don't like pressing the button. Competition. Two. One. Yeah. Well, maybe it's two player. Maybe. Press button. Knuckles. No, that's alternating. Okay. That's, I thought I saw a graphic. Maybe it's not included in this one. Okay, go to competition. That's the only one we haven't done. But I mean, that will just be two of us able to kill each other. Which is mean. Yeah, and you're just going to die quick. I'm not trying to kill you, by the way. Oh, you didn't. I ran into something. Because there's so many bullets flying. Yep. Like, it's going to be over really quick if you're actually trying to kill each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm already dead. Because <laughs> I died twice. I don't think he was able to get the tethered mode to fit or work in this version. Oh, right. I see, I see, I see. I seem to recall there being quite a discussion about it at the time because it, that would involve a lot of physics. It would. Because you're both thrusting and then you have to calculate which one's going which way and how it rotates. I mean, if there was a Vectrix version, I would definitely want to play that. I think that would be so cool. You said oh, it's, it's just bet. arcade version, right? Yeah. I mean, anybody... you wouldn't have the colors. You wouldn't have the colors. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. You could still make one. I mean, you can have the gels you and all that. You could have some overlays to simulate it. Let's see. Knuckles Chaotic. Chaotic mode, yes. Um, but Thrust did the, um, a very similar thing. Um, Thomas Yench did something in Thrust. When you pick up an object, it has momentum and gravity, just like you do, and, and it's, you're tied together with a pole. So, oh, that's yeah. kind of how, but you would have a second player introducing other forces as well. Um, so space duel on the Vectrex. Let's see. I bet somebody has made it. It's gotta be. Yeah, Vectrex space duel. Yeah. Oh, great. Uh, yeah. Maybe not. Let's a Ooh. bunch of space wars come up, but that's not it. It's not space wars. It's based on space war. Hmm. Maybe nobody has done space duel for Vectrex. Interesting. Yeah, it seems right for right Vectrex. for Vectrex. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe because they were like, oh well, Too the original's close. in color. Yeah. But still, yeah. you don't lose anything without the color, other than so. the color. The gameplay yeah. stays intact. You it would be the same. You don't need the color. Oh, a Vectrex version is likely the arcade being emulated through a Vec Fever or Pytrex. Mm. Yeah, that's probably what I'm seeing that's coming up. Mm -hmm. um, but it would still be in black and white. So. It would be, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. Um, good game. I, I really good. like the colors. Um, that adds a lot of dimension to it. Yeah, it's it really, really colorful. And the simulated vector graphics is really, really well done mm -hmm. on this. Mm -hmm. um, it's not my normal genre that I go to because yeah. I'm not very good at thrust-based oh, games. Those are, they're so hard. They're so hard. This is hard. a Thomas Yench game. 
<laughs> Thomas I bet, he, I bet he loves this game. Destroys at this yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Phaser Cat, having awful flashbacks to the tractor beam rules in Starfleet battles. You're actually the first person I know to have played that game. How is it other than the troublesome tractor beams? Yeah, in thrust. That gets hard when you, things are like going around and you have to contend with gravity and momentum of the thing you're trying to take out of this cave and you're like moving around. Oh my God, it's a nightmare. <laughs> but with the proper foot pedal controls and the driving controller, it actually is okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. Once you've got the proper setup, it's pretty good. Um, so that is the games for today. All a lot of amazing fun games. Incredibly awesome. Really yes. fun. Really, really fun. Yeah. So let's take a look at what we played. Mm -hmm. Gravatar is hard. Yeah. Gravatar. It's challenging. Uh, so we played Canon in DD for Defense. VH said mm -hmm. C's new game. Mm -hmm. Awesome as usual. It is an iteration of other games that he has made. Uh, Roach in Space and Canonica for the 2600 and 7800. Mm. Um, really, really, really good. Hey, Trey guy. Mm uh beef drop awesome version of burger time so much fun yeah it's really really good yeah i'm getting better at burger time by the way yes <laughs> it was you so are bad You're when doing I, really first, good it was never a game i enjoyed i always found it stressful because those things start coming right and after you and they go you. right for you but isn't it, that funny though like but uh, you play a game I enough you start it a lot understanding now, how to play it and it's know, like oh i can manipulate it rather you, than just die 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 you figure out the movements and how to dodge things and and to wait i feel that way about pac-man pac-man as the well same similar they i, go I for you. didn't like it i find, found it too frantic i would freak out <laughs> and then once you kind of figure out oh you sometimes even if you're backed in a corner sometimes just waiting to see which way they turn you'll get out of it. Yeah. You're not going to immediately die. Yeah. Um, and so, and you kind of figure out their movements and it's the same with those, uh, the yep. Dr. Dill and the, <laughs> Dr. Dill. That's the right. egg, Mr. Egg, Dr. Dill. Oh, thanks Dan. It yeah. was a fun show and fun games and space duel. Yeah. Really great implementation of the arcade game. It looks almost exactly the same. Um, really fun, especially with two play players cooperative mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can't kill each other because it's game over immediately um it's more like when it's in competition it's more like you both are trying to kill each other and the things are in the way of killing you mm, yeah because you die so quick from all the bullets going going nuts across the screen and the beef drop extra levels is just icing on the cake oh, great. it's, just it's great fun. to have some other levels to it's more play. challenging some of them are a little weird and messed up but, oh the, there's yeah but still yeah. good and <laughs> challenging to navigate your way through the laver ladders yeah. um kind of burnt out so i don't know if i'll be able to do ricky and Vicky. i'm very tired i've had a very long day yeah. today so. so we probably want to after dark ring and push ricky and vicky yeah. a little bit further maybe, off. maybe it'll be a good uh maybe on a separate day would yeah. be good during well, the holidays we have a few days off in the holidays yeah. it might be a good boxing day uh yes you know get up early buy your online cheap <laughs> stuff in canada yes. and play some ricky and vicky so. right. there's no boxing day in the u.s it's have they really done have thing. they done any of it have they like oh more ways to sell things yeah like d adopt boxing day do from they the talk Brit about from... boxing day sales in the in the u.s now or because i mean we adopted black friday yes, from the u.s we do black friday now. i would not be surprised if all all the yeah, retail maybe. organizations are like woohoo we can sell more stuff Every day, yeah. yeah anyway um so we've got some i hear about it but i'm at the <laughs> yeah. that makes sense it makes more sense to me that you have retailers selling the stuff they couldn't sell it sell at Christmas for cheap. Nice. I think that was always what Boxing Day was here. Well, originally it was to take things back to the store. Well, yes. But but, but then it became a sales where it's like, oh, we bought all this product that we didn't sell, so now yeah. we're going to sell it well, all off cheap. Boxing Day in Australia, of course, because that's a British yeah. colony. Previous British colony, just like us. Is Boxing Day in, in the in the UK? That's where well? it started. It is okay. Yeah, yeah. and it didn't start in Canada. No, no, I just wasn't sure. Australians play cricket, cricket. on Boxing there you Day. Go. Mm. It's a hot. It's hot down down there. So yeah, that's be true. Easy enough to play cricket, I think. So coming up, we have some fun shows. Yeah. Next episode is going to be uh, Christmas Eve, actually. But we're going to be doing oh, it, it at noon. At noon. At noon. So at noon people in Europe Eve. can uh, participate. Do you think? It is Atari. 
It's Say hard. hi. Say hello. Rub that belly. Don't know what he's up to. Um, he's up to something bad. And then on the 28th, Okay. We have a very special show. Oh! We have an unannounced world premiere. An exclusive <gasps> world premiere for the Atari 7800. Exciting. You do not want to miss this. <laughs> I've, we've been figuring out a day for it. And we finally have the day now. Yeah. It's going to be at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. That is a... Um, watch him. Hey! Stop it. What day is it? I think it's Friday. Bad cat. No, it's Tuesday. So a week from now. Mm. Uh, you do want to be here for it. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll be releasing hints leading up to it after Christmas. Mm -hmm. Be releasing the first hint. Watch him. He's still like... No, he's licking himself right now, but yeah. Mm. No, no, I know. He's being bad. Uh, the first hint on the 25th. So on Christmas, we'll be releasing the first hint of what it could be. Mm -hmm. And another hint the next day. He's eating hey. it. Psst, psst. <laughs> Atari. It's already not working. I know. There. Chewy cat. Um, and then we'll be releasing what it is. Oh, I'll be posting it on the Atari Age forums and Facebook. Hinting at it hinting during the shows. Uh, no. No? No show No, because we don't have a show. Between, oh, I see. Between the hints. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay. Um, so the only hint you have is for the 7800 right now. Mm. Um, a game that was never made for the 7800. Mm. Yeah. Um, but you will like it. I like it a lot. It's a really fun game. Um, and then after that, oh, we'll be playing another game at that time too. And I'll, I'll be reading some questions out from the developer, mm -hmm. questions for the developer. The developer is answered. And then on January 21st, we have the nominees reveal mm -hmm. for the Atari Homebrew Awards, for the fourth annual Atari Homebrew Awards. I'll be starting to play through all the nominated games. So there's six nominated games in each category. So the first day will be Ooh. Atari 2600 original games and Atari 26, well, Atari 2600 completed original games and mm. Atari 2600 completed ports. Mm. Then the next day is the work in progress original imports for 2600. And the third day is Atari 7800 completed original ports. Mm -hmm. Fourth day, Atari 7800 work in progress original ports. The fifth day, 8 bit 5200, Atari Lynx nice. and the packaging. Nice. And then it's one day where we just do a normal show. <laughs> <laughs> and rando show. Just a rando show because yep. we're like doing a whole month uh, of, almost worth of yeah. uh, playing all the awesome games from yep. the past year. Uh, yeah, ZPH, the game is going to be next year. It's just no, there's no time. There's and, no time to fit it in anymore? And no, it's just too hectic. Yeah. So it'll be next year. So, we'll figure it out, though. Yeah, because yeah. we have to coordinate with Darcy, and Darcy's going to be, you know, at home for holidays, and it's yeah. just too hard to coordinate mm -hmm. before the end of the year, so it yeah. is next year. Yeah. Um, and then on February 12th is the fourth annual Atari Homebrew Awards presentation mm -hmm. live at noon on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll be dressed up. Mm -hmm. Are you going to get dressed up, Atari? In a bow tie? Will you tolerate that? He'll he's, tolerate he's a bow pretty, tie. He's, he's pretty, pretty good tolerant. with a bow tie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so down here, <laughs> ZPH, the game release. Uh, I'm going to have to change that to 2022. Yeah. Yep. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can get a, n a couple other things aligned with that so it'll be even awesomer day. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so lots of stuff coming up. So between the new year, I don't know if we're going to be doing a show on New Year's Eve, though. I'm not Unsure. certain. Do okay. you work during the day? I am supposed to be, yes. Okay. I mean, I could, I could try and see, well, I could see if I could take like it off. Like a late off. afternoon? I could take the afternoon off. I Maybe. don't think anyone okay. would take an issue with that. Yeah. 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 So we'll see. So we may still do a show on New Year's Eve. Okay. Put on a little hat. Well, we're and... not allowed to have parties anymore. No, we're have a party of two and Atari. That's what I mean. Like, like we can't go out to a party. No, no parties. Because they're not allowing that in BC. Only family. Only family. Yeah. Family. Uh, <laughs> oh, family. Just kidding. <laughs> they're the worst. Um, but then maybe that makes for a good zero-page New Year's Eve maybe gaming night. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. So the time may change on the New Year's Eve one. Yeah. 
So, but we'll probably do it earlier because then people will be watching and yes. not out. Yes. yes. ZPH family. ZPH family. All of you guys. All the extended ZPH family. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about. So mm -hmm. we will be back on Friday for the Christmas show. We'll yeah, be playing I'm a so bunch excited. of Christmas games. Um, I need some suggestions of Christmas games. 8-bit games? You need more, yeah. Yeah, because I've exhausted the 20, 7800 and 2600 plethora of games. One was just released, Space Santa 2, so I added that. It was a hack. Mm -hmm. um, but 8-bit games, I need to... You have restrictions for XM Scatterings? Yes. They just announced them today. yesterday. or t Sorry, today. You're right. Yeah. This afternoon. Um, I, I don't know. Like... No pubs, in homes, no clubs. Yeah, they're closing no all, all nightclubs and bars. Yep. Restaurants are still open, but you can only Scale be six people. More. Six people per table. You still go to the movies. You can go to the movies, but they have to be at 50% capacity. Same which, with restaurants. Which they were doing just a little while um, ago. Uh, gyms so. are closed. So yep. they've closed gyms. Um, and no big no big organized parties. So you're not allowed to have weddings or anything like that. Yeah, I was no reading. weddings. And then what they're suggesting, and I'm not sure if this is enforced, is one family plus 10 people is the maximum. Oh, is it? Yes. I so, thought it was just 10 people. No, it said one family and, t and 10 individuals. Oh, that's a lot of people. Um, or two households. Mm. But it could be, I guess, an infinite number of people. Oh, it is complicated. You need a chart. Oh, yeah. Welcome. Welcome <laughs> to Canada. <laughs> yeah. Here are the government restrictions. Um, it's better than other places in Canada. I'm so. not. I'm not complaining. Yeah, I think it's okay. Pretty good. And we can still. You can still get together for Christmas yep. and stuff like that. So that's fine. It's just no massive parties until January 18th. And then they'll, they'll extend it. Oh yeah. Depends if they get the boosters out. We still don't have boosters. No, no boosters for us. Until They're January. They're accelerating it, but it's really not accelerating that yeah. fast. No, so January Ontario we get ours. has them though. Ontario. Oh, uh, <laughs> I our shake boosters. my face. Fist, oh, and they're shake doing my fist at you. Fourth shots in. Where? Um, fourth shots. Yeah, some one of the countries. They're doing fourth shots. Not the shots. U.S. No, what was the one that's always like really, really at Israel? Israel, of course. He's doing fourth yes. shots now. They're, they're wow. Really good. Wow. My booster's day after Christmas. Oh, oh that's awesome. Oh, good. Marcia's Congratulations. Having... Yeah, the U.S. <laughs> U.S. You can just go in anybody yeah. at any time, pretty much, I think, right now. Yeah. Uh, but... anyway. Okay. So that's that's it. Yeah. Blame, blame Toronto. <laughs> blame Canada. Yeah. Blame Toronto. Parts of Canada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all fine. So we'll be here, yeah. back here on Friday for the Christmas show. So tune in. And I want to thank all the people who stuck it out to the end. Yes. Phaser Cat yeah. Games, RC70, Vitoko 8-Bits, Atari 2600, Dude Nostalgic, Dan AVC. Trey Guy, Guy jumped in. Ivory Tower Collections. Vitoko. Not him. No. Uh... <laughs> That's a spammer. D train, -train Neo Media. Media. Lots of peoples. Yay, the peoples. Miss Command. Miss Command. VHZC jumped in. Don't know if he's still here. Yep. And that is it. Yep. So right here. Yeah. Have a good week. Yes. We'll see you Friday. We'll see you Friday with mm -hmm. some more awesome games. Mm -hmm. Christmas games. Holiday games. So see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.